We are live and wow. recording, dude. Let's do it. Fantastic. How do Another you feel? week. Dude, ah man, dude. I I uh feeling a bit uh kicked. Why? Your birthday boy. I vomited, dude, my birthday dinner. Why? I don't know. I have no I'm still I'm, I'm puzzled about what happened. What'd you eat? Prime rib. I had some steak and some, all I had was steak potatoes and then I had some guacamole to start it off. Are you transitioning? Transition? No, what do you mean? How could this be? You got sick from meats? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck. I don't. I think I might have had like a bad. I might have ate just a bad cut, dude. That could. That could be. Dude, it was, and it or just might have been like severe indigestion. So I woke up at one o'clock. I had a great time. I'm always a little bit of like a bummed out on my birthday. Yeah. I'm always just kind of like, and I I've actually thought about it today. I'm like, I think it's just because it's the middle of the winter. And that guy just, my body just like all the sunlight and vitamin D leaves my Maybe. body. I don't know. Cause I get the same thing. Mine. Oh, you're November. Mine, right? No, mine's de- December. Sorry. 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 Man, we're not even fucking tight. December. Dude. Sorry. This is fucked up. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> it's December 11th. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I'll, never, I'll never forget <laughs> yeah, it. Never forget. Uh, yeah. I, when I was a kid, I used to get sick every year. Mm-hmm. I used to get the flu every year. Yeah. Which I think just timed with flu True. season. But. It's always uncomfortable. Like, going to a party that's for you or, yeah. like, a gathering that's for you. I don't know. So I, I get weird, too. Yeah, I get well, very uncomfortable with that. It weirds I don't me. Like it. I was telling Brittany today. I was like, dude, I, I like, I'm, like, actually jealous of, like, uh, who was it? It wasn't Matumbo. It was someone else. Manute Bull. Like, dudes <laughs> like Manute Bull who, like, don't know their birthdays. I'm, like, genuinely jealous of them. Yeah. Because you got to watch, too, because a lot of bays will, <laughs> a lot of bays, if you're not much of a birthday brat. You're jealous of Sudanese African immigrants. Yes. <laughs> Specifically, <laughs> the, them not knowing how old they are. Yes, or guys like, from Chad. I'm, I'm jealous of guys who have, like, completely been cut off from the context they've come out of. Yeah, like, <laughs> I could be 58. <laughs> yeah. I'm just living. I have no idea. Dude, they estimated Manute Bull was in his 50s when he was playing. <laughs> really? They just put scratch. they would just put scratches Yeah, you ever see that picture of him head. swimming? No. It's him swimming underwater, and it is hilarious. He is, looks terrifying. Is he nasty? No, he's just fucking. I'm saying eight is he feet nasty? Long. Is he nasty? He looks fucking swimming? insane. Is he nasty at swimming? I don't know. He might have been drowning. <laughs> <laughs> when he was he was at the bottom of the pool. You know the uh, I think the people who so like in Sudan whenever <laughs> you look at a new pool swimming. <laughs> ah, what the fuck? That, it's so spooky. <laughs> 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 I think he I mean, is drowning. He might be the only person, if pool hopping, they'd be like, hey, get, oh. oh my God. You would believe it was an alien. Dude, that's scary. If as pool fuck. hopping. <laughs> pool hopping rules. All right. So you Dude. had some meat. Your tummy hurt. You turned 34? 35. Oh. Jesus, man. I'm 35. Whatever. I'm kidding. I'm like Manute. 11, 12, never forget. Dude. I'm like Manute Bolt. 12, 11, never forget. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I have no I, I'm like contact. Manute Bowl with everybody else's birthday. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. I don't know one birthday. I don't know one. I know my sister Katie's because it's before, like right before. Yeah. Me. I don't know anybody else's. Dude, at the pharmacy, I every time I go to pick up Brittany's medicine, they're like, and what? what is the birthday? I'm like, uh, uh, and like, it yeah. takes me a second. I fucking spaz internally, and then I go, here it is. Um, but yeah, dude, the. Uh, oh, see, I'm sorry. You know what? Ahead, you know yeah. what it's compared to? What I would say the birthday things like whenever I do a show at Helium. Mm-hmm. And everybody's hanging out yeah. to see me. I yeah. get very like this sucks. Very yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that's the exact feeling. This year wasn't too bad because I like I failed at turning off the heat. It's all good. I shared, <laughs> <laughs> it's tough. I shared the. Uh, I shared. I have the a very day. strict rule of never touching another man's thermostat. So that that's took a good a lot, rule. That took a lot out of me. Well, you at least you you know you I talk. There, I tried my best. He's got one of those future thermostats. I know, dude. It's crap. Very linked into the surveillance state. I would, me personally, I'm not putting any kind of smart, smarter, uh, you smart know. Smart device? Smart device. Hell no. Home. They could shut off, the fucking deep state could shut off his I'm, heat at any point. I'm, I'm surprised might, he dude, My Peloton. <laughs> dude, they're going to shut you down. You see what they were doing with Biden's Peloton? What? They're like, he probably can't. He First off, me and, me and Biden have a Peloton. That's, That's awesome. my president, y'all. Heard that? <laughs> Fuck, if I had known that, I wouldn't be ragging on him so dang much. He's on the Peloton. Yeah, it's only for elite athletes like me Is and his- 80-year-olds and women. Is I heard I also heard Biden had a uh, an eight inch penis, not his son who we've allegedly confirmed. saw confirmed. Confirmed, there's someone on the internet. I mean, unfortunately, the person delivering this news claims that Joe Biden, our president, raped her, but she was like, "I can tell you exactly what it's not." Tara was. Reed, is it? No, never forget her name. What, who's Tara Reed? The lady who Biden fingered at a party. I think. No, 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 not her. No, no, no. Allegedly fingered at a party. 
This is a lady. He let <laughs> she she came out and was like, "I'll tell you. What, I know exactly what his dick looks like." Looks like she could pick his dick out in a lineup. Yes, she said it's. I couldn't pick my dick out in a lineup. I could definitely. Uh, I wonder. It'd be tough. A lineup. Now, of, right. uh, a lineup now we're of, on an important issue. A lineup of similar penises. I could spot remotely mine. similar penises. Yeah, could you pick it out? That's a good question. I might start like an RV tournament version of just birds, <laughs> and you got to find yours. Oh, that'd be awesome. I'm all actually. pelotoned up, dude. Go ahead. You want the smallest penis on earth? I've read. I've read O'Connor Bro. talking about that. Oh, what was he saying? He said the Peloton penis is unrivaled. Where did he say that? Twitter. That little fuck. <laughs> did he steal your? He rode my fucking Peloton <laughs> once. That little weasel. So he thinks he has it the is. audacity to say no, that he, he shriveled his penis more than you. No, but he was the. So I've had this Peloton. Obviously, I'm not friends with any chicks, mm -hmm. so nobody's shared the experience of the Peloton with me. <laughs> yeah. So I, I O'Connor got a pair of shoes for himself so he could use mine. Mm -hmm. And the first time he got off, we commiserated on tennis. I haven't had the tennis discussion with yeah. anybody because you're sitting there, you tennis up hard. Mm -hmm. It's it's like uh, it is like uh, post practice. Yeah. Dong, and then you got to stand up and pedal forward, and your dick goes in in your own body. Sitting on a bicycle seat, <laughs> sitting on a bicycle seat specifically diverts blood from your genitals. Really? Yeah, that's a side effect of people who are like marathon bike hard. So that's, that's what's going on. One of the thing, one of the things they. So that's what the fuck is going on. It's one of the side effects of extreme cycling is kind of like a. It just like diverts stuff. I've from got your, all those from your penis. <laughs> and uh, every side effect of extreme cycling I've experienced. <laughs> yeah. I extreme. So I start. I cycled today, dude. Really? I woke up at like six a.m. How's your libido? It's through the roof. I'm all. That's good. Thinking about cum. I th yeah, I think that's it. I think that's why they wear spandex on bikes. Because otherwise, if you don't wear if you wear regular and ones, all the blood leaves <laughs> your genitals. I've worn a regular <laughs> and ones. It's impossible. <laughs> you just look like a fucking dick. I've, I, I wear. What are you Peloton on? In? What in, do I wear? Bad, yeah. Uh, I, I have worn those Lululemons you got me. They're a little birthday. <laughs> I bought you some undies, dude. <laughs> Damn, dude, I'm wearing Lululemons on a Peloton. <laughs> so your libido is through the roof right now. Mm -hmm. You're wearing Lemmys, dude, on the Peloton? Oh, that's tough. What? Admitting <laughs> publicly I'm wearing Lululemons on a Peloton. Dude, I, I'm, ah. I'm, I'm telling you, man, the Lululemons are... I apologize to everybody they're out there. unbelievably expensive underwear, but they're... They rule. In someone fact, put me up to it. They're like, just try a pair. And I bought them, I'm like... I wore them once on the Peloton, and then I was like, I don't want to do that because I don't want to ruin them. But I get them ball sweated out. So I, I do have just they, compression dude, shorts. They're Lululemon's dealing with, like, snatch drizzle, dude, from yoga pants. <sighs> they can handle some ball sweat. They're dealing with, like, heavy yoga I, know, I feel like my compression shorts get fucking ruined. Dude, imagine being a girl in yoga. Some Ew. guy's like, oh, no, not like this, and they're just like, oh, my God. Uh. Uh. Girls are probably, like, so horny during Which yoga. Which is my mom at Zumba. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, unbelievably. Just women dancing to Carol King. Dude, women in exercise classes are just absolutely horny. It's as horny as they get. For sure. Trust me, dude. Yeah. They see me cut in. They see me come in in the cut sleeve, snake tag. Shirtless? They're just like, sometimes. Shirtless back when sometimes. you were a little chubby? Oh, yeah. You're for fit sure. now. Chubby with, with a little bit of fucking like pimples on my belly. Snake tat, dude. I, I think <laughs> I think I was making the class. They must have honestly been like, "This, who the fuck is this guy?" Hundred percent. And you had like a mullet a lot of the time. Yep. Yeah, I did. I had a bit of a mullet. I was a little bit chunky, and I had the snake tat. Man, I, and I'd wear cut off dude, sweatpants. So like, where's that Matt? It's <laughs> chubby mullet, chubby Matt. He's, I'm going through something of a psychic puberty right I now. I hate that you're improving. <laughs> Can't help it, dude. I, 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 dude, no, a mullet, a mullet wouldn't stop me at all. You could you could still rock a mullet. I've, dude, I, this is the thing too. I've thought about growing my hair long again. It's just it's too much fucking maintenance. I'd rather cut it high and tight, dude. It's like every day your hair is all fucking like nat, like yeah. knotted up and tangled and like yeah. it just gets. I can go with like three days without showering. Nobody notices. <laughs> you know, when you have, I know, when you have I know. long hair. It's instantly apparent that you haven't showered for three days. Yeah, it gets greasy, dude. It gets stringy. I like. Start looking like Trent Reznor. I like your greasy mullet. Dude. <laughs> you want my greasy oh, mullet? Oh, I like it. <laughs> Getting me going again. Sorry, I rode the Peloton today. I'm rock hard. True, you're fucking hard. Your your blood is completely. I cannot wait. Your blood's back to your genitals. First first chance I get alone, I'm going straight at my dick as hard as I can. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. But yeah, heck? dude. What no, the heck? it's important. No, it's important we cover that because you know that is something I I do want to start that RV tournament. It's like find your bird. Find your own Throw bird. Throw your bird into a sea of other birds. Can you find it? 
you might not you might not encounter your bird for like a year. Especially every day pops up. You yes, know how no? you you know how I would definitely never recognize it if it was a dick pic mm-hmm. that I've sent to someone. Yeah, where it's like great angle, huge donger. Yeah, if you sent, I would have never. If I saw my dick pic, I'd be like, that can't be my dick. Damn, dude. You know what I mean? Imagine that though. The one day you go knowing that the app's actually like you have found your penis, and you're like, that's mine. That's mine. This that's is what my it looks fat like. hog. I think that would be a good app every day to, to see a stranger's penis before you start your day. Just to, just to know where you <laughs> rank, dude. It takes all the mystery out of everything. Or, yeah, but. Or, dude, an app where you snap your bird and it just goes right through the database and it's like, here's where you sit in here's the bird where you rank. Let's cut all the fucking mustard. Here's where you lie. Well, here's, here's where I'm going to put some, you know, punch a hole in this. Yeah. The guys that are going to stay in that mm-hmm. have dongers. True. The guys that put it in once and it's like, you're ranked 848,000th. <laughs> Not bad delete out of seven app, billion. Delete the app and be like, I'm never, dude. I'm never telling you, anyone about this app. No, you gotta, you know. Then you know. Then you say, all right, that's not my strength. I've been in enough locker rooms. I know where I stand, dude. Yeah. I don't need no damn tech. <laughs> you don't. I don't need Silicon Valley <laughs> yeah. getting involved. <laughs> I don't need big tech talking about my I mean, about dude, there are dong. people who have bird delusion and hold it down like they have hogs. And they'll just be like, dude, I mean, yeah, dude. It's we, I so, we used to How live. How nice would that be? We used to live with a kid. I mean, I I had, in high school, I just assumed I had a huge dick. I was like, <laughs> definitely have a huge, are you kidding me? I definitely have a huge dick. Yeah. I remember the first dagger of reality, dude, my girlfriend at the time being like, yeah, the guy's dick I used to be with, it was like that big. And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> like, yeah. That's cool. And it's, I remember just a absolute crab swirl, dude. She, this, this lady used That's to twirl. She would hit me with like soda can. She would be like, "Yeah, this one guy. It was like wasn't that big. It was like a fucking soda can." I'm staring a soda can down. right Literally, now. dude. It, yo, I'm telling you. Yeah, right. That's what she claimed. Yeah, right. I got tortured by a high school. A high dude. school girlfriend was this app for me and ranked me. She was like, "Look, dude, here's where you stand." Yeah, she was like, "You're forty eight thousand. Dude, I used to, it, I used to like leg up, fuck, just like it was like I had the biggest dick in the world. I was like, "Yeah, yeah." I feel like I used to do that too, dude. It was crazy. I've been humbled. Sexually, I'm much more humble. <laughs> oh, dude, I've definitely adopted somewhat of a parallel value system. Before, it was just like, huge dick, awesome. That crumbles. You're like, I kind of like playing guitar a little. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's something I, yeah. That's a good thing to talk about, though, man. What? bird? Get rid of any bird delusion you may have? Yeah, it's just a whole different life. Or act as if you're on the bottom of the bird pyramid. Always. Yeah. My friend used to do that. I think it's a good tactic. He would always tell, like, the whole time he was courting them, he'd be like, I got the fuck. He would call it his uh, two inch power bone. He's like, I got the- He would just constantly trash Jeez. his dick and he would pull it out and he'd be like, It's not bad. I, I don't mind that. Not a bad move. I don't dude. mind that one bit. Not a bad move. Just start stealing micro penis valve. But- no, I have micro penis. Like, just have an average yeah. penis. Like, it's micro penis. Some guy gets you at line, in line at Annie Ann's, like, Oh, yeah? <laughs> 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 Let me see your penis. <laughs> Um, so you go to your birthday. Go to my birthday. It was a fam? shared birthday. Family's there? Yeah, whole fam. It's just fam? Just fam. It's not friends? No friends, just just fam. Better not be friends. No, I, dude, I would never. Because I was, I, I was up by myself, home. You were. You Sick to my damn stomach <laughs> that I wasn't at this birthday party. <laughs> we did a joint one. It was it was a it was a joint celebration of my mine and my father's. You and your father's lives. We have, you know, we're linked. Astrologically, we're close. I think he fall, he's not on the, he's not like an Aquarius like me. He like, he's like a late. Sag, maybe, or Cap. I forget what it is. Um, oh, no. He's like early cap. January. I think he's a Cap, maybe. But anyway, I don't know. Lemaire, what's my dad's astrological True. sign? <laughs> what comes, yeah. Well, Lemaire, you're black. Uh, <laughs> what's, what's after Sag? I'm a Sag. Lemaire, dude. what's my horoscope? <laughs> I'm a Sag. Aquarius. Know that. Aquarius is after Sag? Oh, well, today's no, Aquarius. What's his birthday? 16th. I think he's a Cap. Okay. Yeah. I think I've I've definitely I think I've <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> dude, get, get that camera on the dopers a little bit show the dopers <laughs> this is what we're looking at dude look at this <laughs> this crew <laughs> dude how's your hog no we've never discussed your penis let's take bets actually before we even get into it before he, I think I know Noah well enough that he's gonna be humble but I got a feeling he's got a Sign of a hog. Short, fat hog. Really? Not a not a complete chode, but I feel like it's thick. <laughs> you think you're talking about like a? Uh, I think a flaccid thick. An upgraded well. average bird, basically. I think Noah has a flaccid, thick dong. Spade That's short. Spade's got the wedge. Spade's <laughs> got. It's it's 
I've heard. From, I've heard from people. I've heard from people who have experienced it. It's the fucking parking cone. Yeah, it gets in you. It spreads you it's out. It's the wedge, dude. <laughs> yeah. So Noah, what's a? Uh, and be honest, if you have a micro penis, just say it. It's a big deal. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not a big deal. Lengthwise, we're talking about on a on a great day. We're talking about seven and a quarter. Ew! I knew you were gonna be disgusting. <laughs> Ew, <laughs> Noah, Ew, dude, I knew you were gonna be fucking gross. <laughs> What kind of width are we talking about? You don't don't feel pressure yeah. to answer this, but you know it'd be nice. Pretty thick, I, dude. Good call. Yeah, good call. <laughs> Pretty thick. You for can sure. look at him and tell that guy's got a thick. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> He's real easy going, quiet, <laughs> huge dog. He's got nothing to prove. <laughs> the more. Mister, I think we cracked. I think we cracked a code on this. <laughs> Doesn't he have a black penis? <laughs> Don't you have a black penis, which dude, is still a good dong? Yeah, but Everything. penis for black. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Still a good dong. You should be proud of it. Hell yeah, yeah. I don't think black guys ever have small penises. They have more curve. Mm. I think it, I think it's always <laughs> very interesting. From my like amateur cream pie footage that I've seen, whenever I see it, it's always like just very hard slice, dude. They're I'm up a, in the they're in the rough, dude. This is, I'm. <laughs> I'm Lashmi Singh. This is NPR. The CDC has released a recent study that black guys don't have penises. They just curve. <laughs> I don't know why. Lashmi Singh has been on my mind all day. Lashmi Singh? I'm Lashmi Singh. NPR. Donald Trump still doesn't get it. <laughs> it's like, oh, my God. All right. Yeah, dude, I that shit's fucking crazy. I've been taking in some news, and it's like, especially when you read the debt book, we are absolutely being like without a shadow of a doubt it's just pure propaganda yo i got one 100%. for you what you ever read the turner diaries what's that <laughs> no, don't read it. i'm kidding what's the turner diaries? it fired up a lot of uh domestic terrorists don't read it i was just joshing you just joshing on it? i was just joshing on you but shane right now just watch it. as a nation this is what i this is like the snippet i got from the atlantic we should be looking to heal <laughs> we should be looking to heal but we have to have riot sympathizers answer for what they did and I'm strictly talking about people who stormed the Capitol. Yes. Nothing else happened in the summer. Strictly talking about, it's just not even mentioned. They call the people who stormed the Capitol riot sympathizers. And while Biden wants to unify America, because right now it's just abysmal in terms of how we're relating to each other, we shouldn't right now. We need. Yeah. They're basically saying, like, we need it. We, they, they're, the Atlantic is some someone, at least, and they're calling for a show of force. And then we can worry about trying to unite people. Dude, it's fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah, like I, did, a, I didn't even think about that. Uh, somebody said it. I, I listen to my Spotify daily drive, dude, Matt. I, First off, wake up at 6. <laughs> yeah, you got up early. I couldn't sleep. I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh, it was because I slept for 30 hours on Sunday. Did you really? Oh, I was so, oh, you fucking I was party, so bro. goddamn cool on Saturday. I, dude, dude I, I saw the footage. I was in the fucking wigger mansion. Yeah. <laughs> I was just surrounded by <laughs> tight influencers. <laughs> of course I got in, dude. I have fun. Yeah, but. Brittany showed me the footage. I was just sitting there cooking. She was like, Shane was at a party. <laughs> yeah, I had a couple. Yeah. I had so many, dude. I don't know what happened. It well, seemed, like, seemed fun. It was very fun. It was very fun. All those guys rule. Yeah. Uh, but Sunday, I so was... So you were in the tomb. I was most in the tomb I've ever... For real, I've I've said that every time I've come on yeah. here. Over, that was like... Compared to New Year's... Years ago, when we both had a wicked hangover, how bad was it? I don't even remember that. Really? This was. Oh. This was. I was. I was drunk until like four p.m. Damn. I was drunk dude. the next day forever. Oh. It just wasn't going. And then O'Connor abandoned me while I was in my tomb. What? Yeah, I kept. Fall, we were watching football, and I just kept falling asleep. Mm -hmm. And then he just got up and went back to Connecticut. I woke up and he was gone. I was like, Chris, oh. <laughs> Chris. And then I texted him. He didn't answer. I was like, what an asshole. He got a, like a Connecticut hangover. Yeah. He, the turd had to go home. He had to go sleep on his parents. Dude, couch. Oh. I get it. I get it. He lives close. I would too. Fuck man. Um, so yeah, dude, I slept all day, went to bed. Oh. I must, I must've went to bed at like 10. I woke up at like noon the next day. Dude, it was crazy. Fuck man. It was bad. Dude, it was bad. It was, uh, I, that you know, I'm back on the wagon again. You're back on the I'm wagon? I'm back on the wagon. Back on Until the San Antonio this Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's going to be party time? Yes. I mean, San Antonio. True. Obviously. 100%. You're going to go over. Is that close to Mexico? Yeah. Pretty close? Yeah. I like, think the river. Yeah. That's it's not like El Paso, is Well, it? that's where the Alamo is. So, yes. You going to visit? 
San Antonio should be on the the river walk. Where's it? What's going on here? Stoners, help! I don't know where one city in Texas is. Really? Uh, San Antonio. It's like it's like very much like the middle of the state. But is it okay? So it's not on the border of Mexico. It, no, no, it's it's close on like the like the west side of the state. Gotcha. Yeah, I know El Paso is yeah. on the border. I know Been Houston's closer to Louisiana. I really? Know that. That's kind of really all I know. Yeah, I don't know shit. I know El Paso is just because I walked to Mexico from El Paso. Sick. Didn't know about Juarez at the time. What were you doing down there? I talked about this before. I just I was down there for a. An internship in college, they sent me down to... <laughs> and you walked to war. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they sent me down the one dude... Hey, what year? This was like my sophomore year, so it so was... So was this like 2009? 2008, 2000... Oh, well, no, it would have been like 2007, 2008. Bad time to be... I mean, Juarez is never great, but that was a rough time. Dude, I didn't know. I, I was down there with uh, this guy. This guy... I had two bosses, and then I would always convince both of them that I was super... Because they were both remote. So I'll tell the one like... Dude, you were down there for like El Chapo's war. Yeah, I walked in there. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know about it. I didn't know about that. I, yeah. I was sitting there, and I, I came down. The guy flew. He was like, "Look, man, I need my intern down here." So he was. We talked. We were like, "We're gonna have to party." Because I like knew one of his cousins. Yeah. So I was like, "I need right. my intern." So he, he brought me down there. I need my bro. Immediately tasked me with finding weed for him. So I had to go and find. I like asked around his bar. Found him a half ounce of middies. Yeah. He was like, "Oh no, no, no!" I'm like, "I'll get you some weed immediately." Yeah. Found him some middies, and then the, we like. I just went to meetings with this guy and watched him try to like take advantage of fucking old people and like buy it for like a week or so. Yeah. And then I, he was like, all right, dude, just chill here. Like take the day off and relax. And then he's like, I was like, I don't know what to do. He's like, just go check out Mexico. And I was like, all right. So yeah, I walked into Juarez, dude. And it was scary, dude. Yeah. It was like, I remember being like, dude, I didn't think Mexico was this fucked up. And then some, I talked about this, I talked about this before. Yes. Some guy came and was like, get, get over there. Oh, Took me wow. to the plaza, dude. And I just bought like some bullshit and went home. <laughs> Fuck, that was terrifying. <laughs> bought like a Scarface T-shirt. I think I, no, I literally think I bought a sombrero. That like didn't make it the flight <laughs> home. I think I bought a sombrero. And I was like, all right, let's go. I like your travel purchases. Pretty tight. I think I bought some chiclets too from the, the poor little kids. There's little. That's the thing. Little in Me- going to Mexico, little chiclets, dude. They sell them. It's, you know, <laughs> they have the pharmacies too. You can go in there and buy. That's what people do. They just buy pills. Mm. Dude, you can walk into. Me- I don't know if it's like that now, but you could walk into Mexico, buy like as much pills as you want, and just walk right back. Now I think they hankered down, they they bunkered down on it, yeah. but yeah, that used to be the setup. That's sick. Yeah. Um, but that's not what we came here to no. talk, dude. Here's what we came to talk yeah. about, dude. Big bash, dude. Thirty five joint birthday celebration. My pa, me, just being honored by the family. Ate some prime rib. Um, you know, some taters. I ate. I, ate, I didn't eat that much. I had a couple little, you know, cashew yeah. butter cookies my mommy made. A little bit of cake. I actually made icing. It was pretty delicious. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so I, I I didn't get that full. And dude, I wake up at one in the morning and I just go like, oh, it wasn't food poisoning. Feels like there's like, have you ever had food poisoning before? Yeah. You know, it feels like your stomach gets crampy. This wasn't crampy. It was just like, oh my god, my stomach feels like it's about to explode. It felt horrible. And I woke up and just was like, I do like one minute burps, and then I just like leaned over the toilet for like thirty minutes, dude. Naked. Couldn't, uh yeah i was naked obviously yeah. I sleep naked so i'm leaning over the, toilet. the viewer to know that you were naked throwing up 100 percent naked after dude. your birthday party 100 <laughs> percent naked one o'clock in the morning dude it was just sitting there all quiet and you know i was just sitting there alone i didn't want to wake up Brittany, so i'm like all quiet in the in the bathroom is fucking like sitting there i'd burp into the toilet smell my burp and go ew oh ew and i'm just hovering up like please make me throw up so finally <laughs> I feel like I'm about to throw up and I just dry. Dude, I, I, my body refuses to throw up. Like, it won't, my body fights me. Like, I have to throw up. My body yeah. will fight it. It's the craziest fucking thing. So I'm sitting there like, man. <laughs> then Brittany comes in. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I, dude, I'm fucked up. I don't know what the fuck I ate. I feel so fucked up. So then this is a great time, especially for a bay when, like, dude, they are so good at throwing up. Yeah. She was like, here's exactly what she walked me through it. And, dude, I like fucking. Yeah, dogs. <laughs> they throw up and they're like I had chocolate yeah. <laughs> diarrhea <laughs> yeah throwing up doesn't phase them kid at belly. all dude. they have little kid bellies they do dude <laughs> they, they just puke <laughs> just sitting in class dude around kids you just puke at. just be talking in the middle of like fourth grade so be like, <laughs> <laughs> just like holy shit what was that you just get to go home <laughs> Oh. puke on the carpet and some poor guy the yeah. poorest guy in town comes in and throws wood chips on it oh, yeah. <laughs> some some guy whose level of poor you didn't know existed in your town <laughs> dude 
the dude in my grade school, so the janitor, the janitor's son went to our grade school and he lived right on our street. So we used to, me, my cousin and the kid who was, we talked about this. He used to steal from Goodwill. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. I want to hear. I want to hear. He, so he, <laughs> we used to like go and we would go to Wawa to like steal black and miles. And then every single time we would be like, let's take turns. And every single time like, yo, it's your turn. So we would make the kid. I would go. hate it if it was my turn. Dude, I, I mean, I, I would like, I think I stole the black. I would, I was more of a candy thief. I would go in there and I could hit the candy aisle. Crazy, dude. Yeah. Just all lined in my N1 waistband. But the tobacco thing had that like display where there used to be like just floor level and you can just grab them right next to the thing. So we used to be like, yeah, I think it's your turn. And he would steal just like packs of black and miles. Mm. Philly, we were just fucking cheap Phillies blunts too. It was sick. That's dude. awesome. Awesome. But we went to Goodwill. We, we we cultivated a thief, dude. Then we're like, all right, let's go like just fuck around and see what Goodwill has and like walk around in there. Dude went for broke and stole a pair of Eddie Bauer cargo shorts. <laughs> the, the janitor? <laughs> janitor's son. The janitor's son. <laughs> stole a pair of Bowers, dude. Oh. Couldn't, he couldn't resist them. And we didn't fucking even know. He didn't even tell us. Ocean's 11. <laughs> <laughs> it was a heist. Dude, the lady came out. It, the, someone came, son, <laughs> son. <laughs> We're going to break into the, home, <laughs> the homeless store and buy some, and steal some gym shorts. <laughs> dude, he went in. I mean, it was I was thieves. It was honor code, dude. We would go in there, maybe buy like weird t-shirts or like just buy like. Did you guys bullshit? like talk cool like they do in Ocean's 11? 100%. Like, There's the demo guy. There's the demo guy. Some guy was like, yeah. <laughs> no, we would just we would just have this kid steal stuff, and we would all smoke cigarettes. That was always the plan. We would just, like, steal a pack of cigarettes or some black and miles and smoke them. But he, he got ahead of himself. I mean, we were, like, sitting outside of Goodwill just eating all of our stolen candy. He'd be like, oh, it's going to be tight when we smoke these cigarettes. And the lady came out and was like, you. And this dude just fucking booked. And we were like. Jenner's like, son took off? Yeah, she's like, he stole. Damn. We were like, no, he didn't. Like, he stole a pair of cargo shorts, and then we saw him rocking them the next week. We're like, you motherfucker. <laughs> He's like, dude, these are too nice, dude. I couldn't give them up. Fuck yeah. They were like, they were had to be $4. At the most. Yeah. At the, at the absolute most, dude. So fuck her. That's if you work for saying. Salvation Army and someone steals, you got to be like, yeah. <laughs> definitely take it. That we, get, we got that for free. You would think they had like a no chase. A lot of stores have no chase policies. That was uh, Ajax was the one who told me about that. He was working at Sports Authority. <laughs> and he told me, he was like, I'm not allowed to chase He's like, once I Man, leave the he store, love it. I have to stop. He have to fully freeze. You can't chase someone outside the store. And I don't want to be smirched that man, but he does suffer from. Though he would follow the rule. Yeah. To the T. Ah, he was a renegade as a bouncer, dude. Oh, would he like assault people? He, <laughs> he got ta- he got talked to a couple times. Well, he would just physically pick people up. And yeah, he's a big pull guy. you out of the bar. People like put me down. He would just be like, nope, and pull you and just pick you up and just physically remove you. It was dude too funny. They had to tell him like, dude. Damn. Gotta fucking. He was too hot, dude. Yeah, there's nothing worse than that. Ajax, get in my office. He was like a rookie cop, dude. Yeah. Get in my office. Hand me your badge. <laughs> Put your black t shirt down. It's a staff. Uh, I worked, I worked uh, as a bouncer in college. Did you really? I did. I let every. I didn't card one person. You were laissez faire? I was very, like, yes. You could. Somebody would hand me, like, not even their, like, their fucking mm. Westchester ID. I'd be like, Come on, man, do better than this. But the guy I worked with, like, just started doing jujitsu, mm-hmm. and he was early at it. They that was screen like for that, 2010 dude. jujitsu. Yeah. So he was like especially nuts, and, and nobody he, knew how to do it. He did get in trouble. He fucked the dude up one night. Did he really? Yeah, he took him out back and like beat his ass. What? Yeah, he was doing moves. Yeah, you can't do those. <laughs> he did moves to a, like a drunk college kid that was like just loud. Oh. Yeah. I mean, that's also the perfect job. It, it was the guy when I was doing jujitsu. He, like, saved the funds for his jiu-jitsu studio <laughs> by bouncing. So he was just, like, full-on, like, boxing and training, and he yeah. would just fuck people up, like, constantly. And then, like, he finally got enough money from fucking up drunk people to open up his own studio. <laughs> That's the dream. I think it's a fair, I think it's a fair <laughs> yeah. deal. We it should is. We should let bouncers go a little. We should give them, like, a little more. Respect? Definitely lethal force. We should give them lethal force for sure. I yeah. think so. I think so if, if somebody if you drink too much, the bouncer it should be allowed. To can do it. it's it's like international water kind of stuff. He like, can kill you. He's not going to obviously. And we're going to try to not have that happen. But in a scuffle, if you die, it's just going to be the bar owner gets to look into it and be like, no, he was by the book. Those are pretty. Rough. Those suck. What you ever see those like videos of people getting killed by bouncers? No, dude, I never. It's terrible. Never, I didn't it's think like it was a drunk a thing. kid. Yeah, it happens a lot. What? Bouncers will like push a drunk kid. They'll fall and crack their fucking head. It's crazy. Who's a, did they, can they sue? Yeah. Yeah. And I think the bouncers go to like jail. 
Really? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's anyway. Damn, anyway, dude. It's I'm, just I'm the next half, level. I'm half talking out of my ass on this. That's, I'm not I sure. I mean, they probably I don't do. know the laws. True. But, but also, think about that in terms of, like, the bouncer archetype. There's no better guy to get locked up for doing the right thing than just be fucking big in jail. Yeah, you get to be... Uh, you just have to continue, like, pushing people. You get to be Nicolas Cage in Con Air. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You get to be like, I'm in here because I got in a fight outside of a bar and things went too far. I'm not like you. Some drunk kid called me a fag and I slammed his head <laughs> into the wall. <laughs> I crushed a guy's head off of a booth in a bar. <laughs> His head exploded in the bar. I kind of ruined the vibe. But I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Dude, that's fucking... That's sick. We got to reach out to bounce. If you're a bouncer and you're in jail right now, please yeah. reach out to us. You obviously listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is the number one locked up bouncer podcast. It's just him. He's he's just like selled up with a guy who like was just over the limit and ran some lady over. And he's like, I'm, I shouldn't be in here either, brother. <laughs> dude, a montage of the hits that bouncers killed people on. Oh, fuck. Just, dude. <laughs> Just a dude full speed checking somebody into the booth. <laughs> Just killing a guy. Bouncers, are, they always have like hog wrangling body too. A good, I, a good bouncer, you don't want like a rip. You want that like hog want, wrangling. Yeah, that's what I was, dude. I, <laughs> I was a complete, I do have the body of a hog wrangler. Talk, if I tuck in a t-shirt and a jeans, I look exactly like every hog wrangler. <laughs> I look like every guy who does, like, county fair pig noise competitions. Yes. <laughs> I think Butterly, ring, call, Butterly calls it cow strength. Yeah. You have cow strength. <laughs> one night, one night, I was standing at the foot of the steps at Ryan's mm-hmm. in Westchester, which is where I bounced. And Damn. Do you at Ryan's? Mm-hmm. I've been kicked out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Probably one of me and my band of brothers, dude. Uh, I think I've been kicked out of almost every bar in Westchester at one point. <laughs> This kid came flying down the – there was – you know, there's upstairs. This, and I was standing at the foot of the steps. This dude left his feet probably at the top of the steps oh. and just dove – he was parallel. And there was a wall at the bottom of the steps because it was like the side of the bar oh. downstairs. Head first. Just while I was standing there, it was like a Wednesday night. Oh. Although that was wing night. That did rule. True. Ryan's has the best wings. <laughs> oh, I love Ryan's wings, dude. I might go to Westchester tonight. You should. Uh, just go sit there and be like, what are you doing? Be like, just reliving the glory days. I used to work here. Back in 11, we would have shut that shit down. <laughs> None of that bullshit would be flying here. Oh, be like, Who are you, mister? <laughs> Who are you, mister? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Don't. <laughs> yeah, the 50 year old bartender's like, Who are you, mister? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, mister. Uh, but, yeah, dude, this kid, I've never seen anything like it. He, he like, he was, he just ambulance, ambulance came oh. in. This kid, like, died. He was, like, fuck. <laughs> it was crazy. And it was next to me, and I was just standing there. And the rest of the bar was pretty empty. All of a sudden, this dude flew down the oh. steps, and, like, it was so loud. I was just, like, holy shit, that guy just died. <laughs> but I didn't care. It was weird. I didn't like, there was no part of me that was worried. Well, you were in fucking, you were I was in literally just looking at a guy that just died and I was like, somebody should, we got called. That's all I did. I you should have like, fucking should held call. him down. Just you know, I should have put my knee in his back. <laughs> we're like, stop resisting. <laughs> that type of behavior is unacceptable. You can't die in here. <laughs> Yeah, it is funny that, like, for some reason, bars get to hire their own, like, weird low-wage private security. Yeah. It's kind of a str- – it just gives you a glimpse into, like, the world of alcohol and the effects of it. Anywhere – like, you don't need yeah. bouncers anywhere else in, like, drinking establishments. Of course. You need to hire a dude who can, like, kick somebody's ass. It's like a – someone who it would be believable to look at them that they could kick everyone's ass in the establishment. Yeah. In order to have a bar, you also need, like, a strong dude. Yeah, you just need big guys – because that's the only thing, if you're hammered, that's the only thing you're going to respond to. Well, the scrappy to. dudes get fired up. You get the scrappy the, dudes. Well, those are the dangerous ones. That's what I'm saying. The you little, the, the tiny the, bouncers, you, you got to watch out for No, them. I'm saying, you get. I used to have a roommate in college who was a bit of a scrappy dude, dude. He was, he was like a, you know, a shorter, stockier dude. Yeah. He would get drunk and his fucking like elbow, tra- and I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. He would just be like, he's fucking mad. I'm like, dude, you're a fucking yeah. scrappy dude mode. That's how Nate gets. Really? Nate Marshall? Yeah. He's scrappy dudes? Nate Marshall's a big time scrappy dude. <laughs> That's really so know. funny. He's a complete scrappy dude. Like, he's a little tiny. <laughs> not tiny, but he's yeah. and he's nice and he's sweet all the time. He's very funny. And then yeah. I'll get a couple drinks in him. He's like, these fuckers are looking at me wrong. And I'm That's, like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> That's, dude, I'm telling you, I had a, I had a college roommate, wrestler. Mm. He's a wrestler. He would get in there, dude. And he, That's why. Five rum and cokes, and all of a sudden he was wearing the spandex again, dude. He'd be in there like. <laughs> he's, he's getting on all fours in front of people. Like, you go. You go first. 
assume the mount or whatever. Yeah, dude. It was, huh? Shane is kind of a scrappy dude. Is he a scrappy dude? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but I don't know. He doesn't seem to. He never gets actually scrappy with anybody. He's more of a forlorn think, scrappy dude. Yeah, he gets. You can get him fired up, but he doesn't. He never fights any of us. Well, luckily he dr- he drinks enough to like kind of neutralize himself. <laughs> So, he drinks so much he can do nothing, dude. <laughs> like he goes from scrappy dude to like laying on the floor. It's quick, quick <laughs> yeah, enough, but... and dude. He does. Last time we went over to Finell's and played poker. Oh, so fun! You would have loved this. this yeah. you. This was right up your alley. I kept trying to get Shaner because Shaner was blacked out. Yeah. I kept being like, "Yo, Shaner, you gonna let O'Connor talk to you like that?" Oh. <laughs> I kept trying to get Shaner to fight O'Connor, oh. and O'Connor would be like, "Don't you see what he's doing?" Oh. I'd be like, "Don't let him talk to you like that, dude. He, you can see what I'm doing. You know, like you don't have to have him." <laughs> and he would, Shaner would just stand and be like. <laughs> 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 you know, fucking, what did you say to me? <laughs> We'd have to, like, kind of push him away. <laughs> Just getting him to fight O'Connor is the best. Oh, fuck. What's Just also O'Connor be like, he's doing this to both of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's also funny for someone in a blacked out state to, like, you somehow being able to, like, get right into their brain <laughs> yeah, and be like, oh. no, this is what's going yeah, on. So he's easy. like, Shane's right. Yeah. Fuck O'Connor. <laughs> you might be parcel tongue, dude. For sure. How Harry, 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 Harry Potter well, can talk Slytherin. I've been into the world. I've been into the upside down. <laughs> I, I know. I know how to speak that language. I was there. I was there Saturday, dude. Oh. I knocked over. I have a. I had a clock above my door, in my room mm-hmm. above my door frame. Yeah. It was knocked over. I'd somehow knocked it off the wall. You Captain Hook, dude. I have no idea. <laughs> 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 you have no idea how the dude. clock fell down? <laughs> oh, my God. This bruise. <laughs> this is terrible. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Dude. Blacking out. Dude, I'm 33. Blacked you, out. knew that? Blacked out. Yeah. That's terrible. Yeah, dude. It's not ideal. Anyway, I got this. Can you see Although this your Instagram wicked story bruise on my what wrist? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Somebody accost you? This must have been during the clock incident. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened. You hit it, bruise. If you you hit see. it where your hook would be. This entire. That's where your hook would be. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking. I waking up like oh. what the. F- well, I mean, what also the, the getting a bruised wrist is the gayest possible spot you can bruise <laughs> yeah, yourself. What did I hit? Just, oh. <laughs> <laughs> or somebody gripped your wrist really hard. True, Schultz might have accosted me. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Dude, I laughed. <laughs> I was with uh Blizz in the car and I I like he was like, Yeah, I listen I listened to your guys' podcast la- last week. And the part about fucking <laughs> You talking about the way Dorian looked at you before going to bed? I fucking I forgot all about that. He he specifically said he was in his room like laughing out loud. And I was like driving a car. I almost had to stop. I started Dorian. laughing. I haven't heard from Dorian. I thought he would have reached out after that and been like, yo, chill, <laughs> chill. <laughs> Just him playing Super Nintendo and being like, huh? <laughs> yeah, <that's me. laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> never mind. I'm not good. Dude, the, uh, yeah, but dude, that, yeah, man, I'm, I'm telling you, man, I, I'm a, I've gone through something, something of a psychic puberty, dude. I'm like, I go down in the morning, I have like a, a I'm like, I used to talk about being a systems man. I'm actually, I can say it. You're doing dude. it right I'm, now? I was steal, not stealing Systems Valor. I just was like, I couldn't really keep it up. I, I had a feeling you were stealing a little Systems Valor. I was but I'm stealing... not going to call you out on stealing Systems Valor. I had a decent My value. heart was in the right place, <laughs> I know dude. it was. It was like I wanted to get in the military, but I had flat feet. Of course. It was that kind of setup. Which, <laughs> yes. by the way, if that's the case, you should fully be able to wear. Like, dude, I tried to get in. They, didn't, they you know, Yeah. I was too much of a threat. But yeah, dude, I'm like, I'm on, I swear to God, it's the funniest <laughs> fucking thing if you... Because I used to do all kinds of wild shit of, like, trying to kind of, like, stabilize my mood. If you get on a basic routine, and nobody wants to hear it because it's not, like, the sexiest thing. It's not like, oh, dude, I did, like, you know, I drank a gallon of ayahuasca and ascended. it. It's just, like, no. Yeah. I, I literally just made myself a schedule. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Like, all your anxiety goes away because you're not, like, what am I supposed to do? Dude, I that's, like, one of the biggest... This year of like sticking to a routine has been, I think, my godsend through all yeah, this that's bullshit. Yeah, awesome. It's been fantastic. I have not. 
but but you're having, right. you're having a good Things time. Good. Yeah. That's the other thing too. It's always everything's different for everybody else. Sure. There's no need to kind of like. No, you know, I wasn't. I didn't take it personally. What I'm. I. It was weird though because Saturday I had. Sunday I didn't have anxiety. Mm-hmm. Like I just had fun at this party. That looked fun. Like it wasn't like I woke up like oh I wish that I was like no that was great that Dude, was so fun. You could be onto something too. Just chugging beers with my buddies. If you're drinking. Not instead of trying to quit drinking, just try to have the maximum amount of fun when you're drinking. <laughs> you have no idea how bad of an idea that is. No, dude, dude that's you have so to just bad. make that a night to remember. Every night has to be a night. Every to remember. night, dude, I live for the nights I won't remember. Hundred percent, dude. And the people that I won't forget. <laughs> <laughs> no, that genuinely looked awesome. I felt yeah, bad really for McGregor, dude. I was really pulling. For oh, him. I know. It's sad. Fucking crushed. It's sad. It's starting to be like you know before yeah, he's done. He's... he was on that like he could have a sick comeback thing, and now it's like. I know. The the problem is, is it is UFC, so you can get knocked out. Yeah. Like, anybody, for the most part, can knock out anybody other than Khabib, for the most part. Yeah, what's he up to? He says he's retired, but... Really? Yeah. McGregor awesome. was trying to pull him in, but now he's now McGregor's out. I mean... I don't know. He'll have to fight. Yeah, he'll just fight. I think I've been watching his, his Instagrams, just Khabib playing soccer. I think he wants to play soccer. That's nice. I don't know. I don't like it. Him playing soccer? I don't like when guys retire and do something they want to do. Really? I was watching that Tiger you want, Woods. You want him in the fucking wrestle. What's Tiger What's Tiger up to? Did you watch the Tiger Woods doc at all? No. Bro. What's he up to? Bro. I have never felt... I, I know... I've told you this before. One of my biggest regrets was being a chick about Tiger Woods. Yeah. Disgusted. Now, I came around... Like that year. When you were pissed at Just him one South Park episode. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm being gay as fuck about this. But... <laughs> I, the Tiger Woods doc on ESPN is it's fucking awesome, and it shows, like, his dad. I mean, Tiger started golfing when he was, like, one. Yeah. He was, like, on Carson golfing. He was on, like, The Tonight Show. Really? Yeah, it was crazy. But his whole life, he was going to be the best ever. His dad, like, forced him to be that, and then, obviously, he became the best ever. And then it turns out he fucked a lot of chicks while he was a, you know, billionaire, yeah. best athlete in the world. Yeah. And... The journalists, like the, I, I'm I'm becoming the guy who hates journalists. Not that I have any underlying reasons, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember when I was younger and I watched uh, Green Street Hooligans. Mm-hmm. You remember that? They're like, you're not a fucking journo, are you? Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck is their problem against journalists? <laughs> now I'm fully like, yeah, journalists suck. Yeah. These guys from the National Enquirer followed him. He was fucking this waitress, a Perkins waitress. Oh, come on now. He bro. was he was fucking everybody. Ooh, but, hold on a second. That, that's a that's just something to be said for that guy's fucking libido, dude. Perkins waitress. I mean, who doesn't go into fucking? Also, they were he was going to Vegas a lot yeah. with Charles Barkley and Michael Jordan. The three of them would go out in Vegas. Yeah, dude. And they would. Uh, what do you think those guys were doing? I mean, dude, just hanging out with the fellas. Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine. It's got to be something of like a you know the game Paperboy for Nintendo. It's got to be something of like a paperboy route for those guys to like not the get pussy. The, yeah, oh it, must, it must just be like, you must be falling into it's, it. Yeah. It's got to be honestly annoying to the point where it's like, dude, like, yeah. enough. Anyway, this is the craziest part. So he's been fucking this chick. People from the National Enquirer, I think it was what it was, followed him in their car. And they went and fucked in their car behind a building. That's low. She took her tampon out and threw it on the street. One of the journalists went and picked it up for proof pretty tight actually what a disgusting weasel and then they brought it to tiger's team's attention what happened they took the tampon they were like we have the fucking tampon dude we know you (laughs) fucked the perkins waitress he fucked a a perkins waitress who was on her period because he rules that's tight no isn't that nice to know yeah that even tiger would fuck a perkins waitress you think he fucked someone who worked at baskin robbins 31 too (laughs) (laughs) almost definitely (laughs) do you think if you went to the kfc taco bell combination he was like i need one of each employee that's where you that's i'm sure that's where you're starting to get to the line kfc taco bell pizza hut he was like i'm gonna have a foursome dude with a representative from each franchise <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's fucking so he fucked a perkins waitress so they on bring a period this, they bring the tampon to tiger's team and they say hey we got you and then they blackmail him into doing the cover of Men's Fitness, which is the owner of National Enquirer also owns Men's Fitness or did at the time. What? So he, they were just like, all right, well, we won't release it if you just do this for us. So he had to do this thing for them while they blackmailed him so they could make money. Like it was. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then he has a fucking press conference. Yeah. 
once he got caught, eventually he got caught. But yeah, eventually the hose couldn't keep it. You know. Yeah. They had to yap. It's a house of cards, bro. You're not gonna. And in their defense, I'd be pussy bragging too. Yeah, and dude. Which is what they were doing. They were pussy. But they were dong bragging. Yeah. It's a good dong to brag. It's also too kind of a thing where I think on some level he knew what he was doing. It's like he wanted to hit the old reset button on his life. I think so. Yeah, for sure. That's and they kind of alluded to that in the documentary. But he gets in trouble. Then he has to have a press conference for like eighty people. Yeah. Just sitting in this room and everyone's very like, "This is so sad." Yeah. And it's like he got. He's he's like I got pussy. I don't know what that noise is. Um. Anyway, what he's I was trying adulterer, to get at, yeah. he was an adulterer. Who cares? And then, well, look, it's bad. Yeah. That's it. It's not the nicest thing. Yeah. Uh, but he got into, like, being a Navy SEAL for a little while and, like, doing his own thing. Fuck he yeah, loved, dude. like, scuba diving and trying to be a Navy SEAL. And it was like, no, dude, golf. I, I'm, I, don't I, like when they, I don't like when they start to retire and want to do other things. I support it, dude. No. Tiger, dude, become, doing Navy SEAL. First of all, the guy... Nobody wants to come as bad as him. So that's the only thing. If you can't come like you used to, <laughs> yeah. SEAL training. Yeah. That's fucking sick. He was dude. going like in their like training facilities, like door to door, like breaking in. Fuck, room, like, dude. Clearing the fucking houses rules, with dude. Them. Yeah. The guy's trying to live it. He's had his life dictated to him his entire life by other people. Yeah. He fucked his way out of it, swag, and then did SEAL training. Awesome. And then. And then he comes back and he's Comes back and won the Masters like last year. Dude. Yeah, the dude rules, man. Yeah, I, I, I hate myself for ever doubting him. You for couldn't help it. You're in a, a I heavy was, household. I'm very Catholic, and exactly. when I hear somebody commit adultery, <laughs> I hate it. Matt, I'll tell you what. When I heard about your divorce, it made me sick to my uh, damn dude, stomach. Dude, I'm telling you. I think my, my dad judges me, I think. Does he really? <laughs> not, not to my face, but he'll be like, you know, that guy, he's on his third wife, obviously. And I'm like, I'm on my oh, fucking second, bro. What the a fuck? second. Chill. Come on, bro. He said third to you before? And he's like, you guys have been married three times, obviously. Fucking <laughs> I'm like... Dude, what the fuck, man? All right, whatever guy who's been married three times. <laughs> All right, what kind of insult is that? Hey, dude, oh, <laughs> it's like my dad just like constantly talks to me about how annoying gal- girls are, and then he's like, yeah, this guy's been divorced like three yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what the fuck? Like, no, I get his point. I, do, I no, get his point. I'm it's sorry. Like, I shouldn't have brought up divorce. I was just joking. No, dude, I don't care at all. Gerby's. <laughs> I don't care at all, but Kirby's it's just oh, falling. Shit. It's all right. Kirby's is like, I'm fucking out of here. That's all right. Yeah. But yeah, no, it is fine. I've noticed my dad has a tick. That's one of his ticks. If like if a dude had multiple wives, he's just like, weirdo. Yeah, he didn't stick it out like the rest <laughs> of us. Went through hell. Yeah. They still battle, dude. Of course. They still battle. Can you imagine? It's dude. It's so fucking funny. Watching them, watching them go at it is just like, how? What? What is there to fight about? Bill told me about a fight recently. Yeah, man. Billy stoked the flames. Yeah. They got my mom fired up. I don't know, dude. It's, I don't, it's like they'll like both fuck around. Him and my brother Tom will fuck with my mom, and I'm like, dude. I know. Well, that's why? a bad thing I do. I fuck with my mom. I can't, too. dude. No, I way. like. Yeah, I can't. Well, just the way she reacts. Yeah. I can't. I can't not. And it. I do. I do need to definitely. Billy stop. got a spaz out of my mom. Apparently. Yeah. When you get a spaz, it's terrible. It yeah, feels dude. horrible. Got an f word out of her, dude. Really? She doesn't really curse like that. Yeah, but I guess, she's, I guess I did stop. I did stop messing with her, but I will. Whenever I'm home and I see mm-hmm. her doing wild shit, mm-hmm. I'm kind of the only one that'll be like, what are you doing? What's she up to? Just kind of nagging people, mm. you know, enough that it's like, leave them alone. Yeah, yeah. Like, she'll true. come in and be like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, my dad. And I'll be like, oh, you know what he's doing. Yeah, <laughs> like, he's doing be. the same thing he's done for 60 <laughs> fucking years. <laughs> it didn't change today. Yeah, man. That's fucking nuts. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, don't Part of me. at all. So you and your 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 mommy and daddy are fighting as well. No, nah, me. Just, I feel I feel sick about it when my what? mommy and daddy fight. I don't. I never see it. But I've, I've never. Yeah. Apparently, he fired. They have more kind of issues around like like my, you know, it's a family business. So my mom will be like, "Here's what we should do." My dad will just he literally the face he makes. He goes, <laughs> yeah, "That's it every time." Dude. <laughs> yeah. He just drops his neck and he's like, "Mayor, just let me." And then he'll just be like. He does this. Yeah. It's so fucking funny. Well, yeah, that's all you can do. You can only appeal to heaven. Yeah, yeah, literally. You can yeah. only just be like, God, take this burden away from me. <laughs> I can't hit her, God. He would, I remember when we were teenagers, he got in, like, we were all in a conversion van. He was like, your mom's a fucking psycho. It was me and all my brothers. And we were just like, <laughs> he's like, she just fucking reinvents history. And then he'll, like, we'll be sitting there. He's like, I never changed a diaper in my life. I had six kids. And it's like, all right, well, fucking. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I could do it. Yeah. I could turn a nice wife into a bit of a 
you know, bit of a fucking psycho. Start to nag on you a little. Oh, I would kill somebody if they didn't help with that. For sure. My mom's my but mom's big family is everything. I would know. never help. What do you mean? So I'm criticizing. I would say from your mom's perspective, I agree with her. From your dad's, 100. percent That's what I will do. What? Just never help. Almost never help. I can tell you that that's yeah. headed down the pipeline for me. <laughs> yeah, it's it's no. One, I'll, I'll do it. I'm it's right. one way to do it, man. Just to be like, no, nah, I don't do that kind of stuff. In terms of like, true, kind of like wood, household duties. wood in South Bend. Just like, no, I made a deal with myself. I, deal with I wasn't gonna do anything. <laughs> All right. All right. Where are we at? But yeah, where the, are we uh, at? Oh, we got good. We got plenty of time right now. I'm good. we're on a hard out for you. I have a hard out. I have to do an interview with ESPN San Antonio. Ooh. They want to talk about my illustrious football career. <laughs> no, they don't want to talk about that. They, I, I'm just doing a show. San Antonio, Texas, this weekend. Please come. Spud was telling me that ESPN is just all social justice now. Holy shit! It's just, it's just, that's all it is. You've, if you haven't seen it lately, it's like, it's yeah, I don't crazy. Want, yeah. I watched it this morning. I watched it, and they were like. Uh, I guess in the Super Bowl there's going to be a female ref, and they were t- just like the the hosts talking back and forth were like, yeah, and the NBA has hired six women this year. It's officials, and they're like the NBA is always the most progressive. That's great. Anyway, back to like they literally were like they're what? the most progressive. Yeah, that's great. Well, what are they going to do for like? Are they going to just keep them at either end of the court because they can't run with the men? So how, what are they going to do? Just have them cherry pick? Like, they'll be like, you take this half, you take that. They're going to give them, like, zone. They're going to have, yeah. like, a zone referee. In. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how they're going to handle this. No, they get some good. Uh, no, they'll be I'll fine. tell you what. Basketball is the one I can definitely – I'm good with that. Yeah. Lesbians love basketball. True. They can – they played it. And women can play basketball at a relatively – like, I, I watched a hockey game the other day with a female announcer. Mm-hmm. Took me right out of it. Really? I was very annoyed that a woman was... Dude, I know people... Like, dude, give us... Let I us, know a girl who played hockey Let us keep years. hockey. No way, dude. Let oh, me, you want you want to keep hockey as like a... Let us keep hockey. Let the boys have hockey. As a white patriarchal stronghold? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you think <laughs> hockey is? <laughs> Come on, man. Let the guys have hockey. <laughs> True. No woman is sitting down to watch the fucking Leafs versus the Wild. <laughs> <laughs> Some girls like hockey. Girls like hockey players. Hockey players are the cutest. Really? And they have the cutest butts. True, dude. You ever watch hockey guys and think about their butts? No, they, I thought I always thought they looked kind of more like faces of meth. Hockey guys are usually kind of like when they lose their teeth rough. and shit. Sure, but when they come out of the- hockey players are very. You ask any a good bay, a good mm-hmm. white bay. Yeah, she'll tell you NHL. Really hottest guys. Soccer too gay. They're the most beautiful. Yeah, NHL hottest. Wow, I think that's just because they're the most normal looking white guys to them. <laughs> the you hockey know? players yeah they're all like fucking like 5'10 white guys they got long hair yeah true you couldn't you couldn't look at Manu Bowl and be like that's my guy dude see him slithering through the water I, I like I like him dude I like the fact that he went down there to try to straighten up Sudan and they try to capture him they try to capture all seven feet of Manu Bowl it's like dude what kind yeah, of right. fucked up thing is this think of him running away he got away yeah, he's just he he brought, <laughs> like Happy Gilmore's boss. He got out of there. <laughs> yeah, the dude, the government of Sudan claims that like, I don't know why everyone's leaving. They're just being babies about this. Big, we didn't attack them. <laughs> their their government holds it down like liars. Dude, I heard uh, somebody just told me this because I was talking about Hotel Rwanda. Mm-hmm. The the guy who's the main character in that's like getting arrested by that government now. What the other government won? Really? Or <laughs> something? I don't know. And I, th- I think he was supposed to be like a humanitarian like hero in this movie. And then I think in real life he's being held captive. What? By the Rwandan government. Yeah, dude. They're, they're, they're the politics right so now. Maybe think, Hollywood didn't tell the I whole think story. Ethiopia's having problems too now. Some, uh, I think they're like starving. Really? They're starving. Ethiopia's been hungry for a while. Yeah, they're, they're apparently the uh, like someone's going to starve like a rebel camp. That's like what's happening in right Ethiopia? now. In Ethiopia, yeah. That's no good. Yeah, apparently back in the 80s when they were starving, when we had that like kick-ass concert for them, yeah, that was apparently a man-made like food blockade. <laughs> Everyone, that's according to something I read. They were saying it was a uh, they're communist leader. Nowadays, they all are technically. Yeah. Oh, true. Nowadays, Absolutely. every food shortage is a man-made. Somebody was like, "Yeah, they don't need that." Oh yeah, I mean they can all be shit. Matt's gonna get cookies and steak <laughs> and cake for his birthday to like throw up. Those people? No, no. Yeah, dude. <laughs> for sure, dude. I I felt like. 
I get ashamed of myself when I throw up too. So I threw up and dude, that Why? Was, I don't know. I, it just, it's a weird, it's like a subconscious thing. If you throw up from being sick, that's, I mean, I get, I get thrown up from a hangover. With the weirdest being po- like, what the fuck am I doing? I usually just feel so relieved if I throw up when I'm hungover. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, thank God that's over. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, it's, it's not like, it's not like a thing that I think about. I was just like, <sighs> the whole rest of the day, I was just like, <sighs> yeah. I had to stick my finger down just my throat. Just ruined your birthday. Dude, it, well, I don't care about that, but it was just like, haven't, dude, it just fucking sucked. Just be over the toilet and be like, hey! yeah. was, ugh, awful. I just, I just threw up. Did you? Yeah. When? Oh, after the party? It was New Year's. Really? I could have sworn I just threw up after a, a night of drinking. Well, it's nice if you're blacked out and throw up and you kind of vaguely remember throwing no, up. No, I threw up the next day. Ooh. And it was like I had just chugged a Powerade. Eee. <laughs> it came back up cold. <laughs> a Powerade? It was like still cold. Yeah, I chugged like a, pow- a cold I'm Powerade. I'm thinking all sports. You chugged a Powerade. Yeah. And then I, yeah. What flavor, blue? I think it was orange. Oh, nice. This is a nice treat on the way back up. Yeah. Now, before we <laughs> keep this moving. Yeah. Because this thing's flying. 100%. Lamar. Oh, yeah, dude. Now, you, we discussed before the show a little bit that you have been trying your best not to come. Yes. Yes. What a disgusting endeavor you're on. <laughs> Why? Why? Well, has it, has uh, it become a problem? Not a, it's not, Yeah. <laughs> It's just a, you yeah. would say your masturbating has become a problem. It, it's just been a, a well. No, repeat what I said. Would my you say masturbation has become a problem? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> How many? What are you talking in terms in terms <laughs> just, of time frame? Just mess with you, man. Yeah. What like, are we talking? about? Oh man. Like We're friends. Forty five minutes to an hour. Whoa! You jerk yeah. off for an hour? Uh you're really you're yeah. really trying to find the perfect porn. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Is the camera on you right now? Yeah. It's on Noah. Right, it's on I Noah. Want, it's on Noah. Yeah, yeah. I want them to see the sadness in your eye when you said, yeah. Yeah. Been there, brother. Yeah. So been, you I, jerk I, off for an hour. I used to do that, yeah. dude. I'm just greedily searching for, I'm like, this isn't the one. Daily? This isn't the one. Yeah. How many times a day? It's just, oof. <laughs> no. Maybe like, it's not like, it was like, it's, it's like a couple times in the, in the stretch. Dude, you know? Lamar, what's just, going on here? What's the stretch? <laughs> what are you looking at? Oh, you're 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 multi nutting. Like I'll 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 come I'll, I'll come. You'll ejaculate out of your penis. I'll, yeah, you'll I'll shoot out of your penis. Yeah. You'll shoot semen I'll out of your penis. You pulse hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll and pulse. then all right. So you'll you'll jerk off for one hour straight. Yeah. And then pulse once. It's like watching, uh, watching a video. <laughs> Lemare. Lemare. Lemare, a flash of Lemare's autism just, just holy shit dude I'm sorry Lemare, we can no, mind. forget about this I'm sorry you alright I'm good I'm good alright yeah. I'm sorry man I just, no it's okay Damn, it's just that, coming back what is you're yeah, fucking just like the jacking off is just thinking about it <laughs> treacherous behavior <laughs> you have fucking flashbacks and jerking off <laughs> obviously <laughs> Yeah, everybody you're, you're remembers. You, like, you dig it like this. You're like, yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you can't control your arm. Your arm is the problem. <laughs> Once that thing gets going, you might have jerked off right here. All right. But just answer this. You're, you're kind of dancing around this. So you jerk off for one hour, and you ju- you you finish once per hour. I finish once. Okay, I finish once per hour, once, and then I'm, I'll stop. I'll watch something else, and I'll be like, I don't think I saw the video I liked, and I'll just go run it back. Go back for another hour. Yeah, yeah. So now you're looking at two hours, possibly a day. It was like hour and a half, two hours. So yeah. to put it in perspective, you, you jerked off for two hours a day for how long? Because <laughs> dude, this is the craziest shit I've. I used heard. to do this, dude. I used to do long fat. I wouldn't do well. The second one, I would, I would try to be like, let me run that back, but I would do more of a quicker one. But there's, there's like a kind of a weird delight in ripping the second one. You're like, yeah, fucking I'm coming again. It's gonna be awesome. I used to sit there and just, dude, I would be like, I'm going to jerk off and then take a nap. And I would just do 45 minutes to an hour of just like, not that one, not that one, not that one. Dude, it, Trying it's, to get the searching, but are you going at it while you're yeah, searching? Yeah, I'm fucking, I'm just like okay. kind of fapping quietly. And then like, if I would start to build myself up to the point where I'm about to bust my nut, I would be like, slow it down, brother. Really? Yeah, and I'd be like, that's the same. Sanctum one, sanctum one. Because there's nothing worse than when you're fapping and then you just like... Blankly come to the right video. Like, yeah. Oh, big time, dude. Yeah. <laughs> but then if you're fapping and you come to like an unexciting video and you like kind of just blankly come, you're like, Mm-mm. it's like, man, it sucks. 
Man. Yeah, dude. I mean, you're trying to fill a void, dude. <laughs> you're trying to fill fill a deep, deep void. I don't. I don't feel that way when you I. You don't. You don't have the void. I just. You you have you have something of a pyramidal value system, dude. Five minutes. You got the fucking. You got your eye on the Before prize. Bed. You got your eye on the prize, dude. If you don't have your eye on the prize, you start to fucking. <laughs> you start to just be like. Just I, while I'm reading about Pele Lou, I'm like, well, these guys had it pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, you're ripping, you're jerking off two hours a day. How many, how long have you been doing this? A while. How, well, how long like, would you say? Maybe like, like most of your adult life? Yeah, not most of, like, okay, because sometimes I'd stop again. It's, know, off, it's off and on. It's, <laughs> it's off and on. on. <laughs> it's off and on. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to make you no. look bad or feel no, no, bad. No, no. I'm just, yeah, yeah. No, no. Yeah. I guess. Well, maybe, just to yeah. put it, I, this is a perspective I'd like to put it in, Lamar. And, you know, when you think about this, when, while you're jerking off in an hour and a half to two hours, you know, again, which I used to do, just think there's a person out there who's enduring like an hour and a half commute back and forth from work. It's yeah. a weird way to think of it. There's a guy in his yeah. car just gripping the wheel. Just mother. jerking off and on you're a just And you're just in a fucking screen. Just, just jerking off on a septa. That's what he's doing in between work. On his way home, he's in the back. No, he's just fucking no, he's just I, yeah. white knuckling some NPR. And the whole time during that, you're fucking. He's white knuckling some Lash Me Sing. Uh, it's a funny thing about it for a person's entire commute, you're just like. That's, a long, that's a long sesh. So yeah. all right, so I take it back. I I was a little critical of your no fat. But sometimes after it though, if after the long session, if you do find the right video after basically an hour mm-hmm. of edging, <laughs> dude. <laughs> all right, well then enjoy it. No, dude, but then the time, uh, dude. Look at these. Fuck that. Who cares? I mean, obviously, I yeah. Dude, fapping for an hour of your okay. day. Okay. Now that's you. You have you have a very busy. I'm an ambitious man. Yes, Lamorp. Take an hour out of fucking Capcom versus Marvel or whatever. Fire one off. I think, Dude, that's he, does, just as I good. think he doesn't want Capcom versus Marvel. How much Capcom versus Marvel do you want, Lemire? Uh, not a bunch. I, I got a, I got a little bit. <laughs> it's funny when you always got to fit a little bit. <laughs> you got to fit a little bit. I mean, come on. It's the point of fucking living. True. So, so you you were on a NoFab, and this is all just leading us to the yeah. story, but it's more important five to get the... Five days. It's like the, you did five days no five coming. Five days no fab. Yeah, I went to... McCusker's. What's 24 times five? 100 and, <laughs> you 120 the, hours. Why would you embarrass the whole group like this? 120 <laughs> hours. All four of us like, I, I think hope someone else gets it quick. I, I think it's 120 hours. So you did 120 hours Two. fat free. you carrying the... Yeah, he's carrying it. Yeah. You yeah, can see he's doing the math. 120. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So you, yeah, you can do it. You can do it. And then just. Yeah, but I was dizzy. Like, <laughs> I was like getting yep. dizzy. Uh, really? Like, yep. Yeah. And Matt's talked about experiencing some very, a bit of cum fever himself. Yeah, man. <laughs> I would do like a six day on like a six, seven. Seventh was like my limit. Now, I honestly think I could rock a seven day. I mean, I think I like do it pretty regularly now. But the at first, dude, I would go like fucking six seven days and i'll be doing push-ups and like my heart would skip a beat I, you get like that red bull vodka feeling almost if you don't come for a lot of days and your, your body's like your body's making the stuff sure you're putting in the orders sure so they're for the demands there they're the demand. man. <laughs> <laughs> the supply is building supply is there you got like wartime effort going on yeah. in terms of production Some guy yeah the factory in your nut sacks like these were supposed to go out yesterday what the hell are these doing here <laughs> <laughs> So, Lamorp, you're on day, you're an hour 120 of not jizzing, and you've been jerking <laughs> yeah. off for three to four hours a day your whole adult life. <laughs> <laughs> so now, you're, and then, all right, so what happens next? Uh, I, I go, I, 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 I go to the movies. I want to go see a movie. I'll go to see One Night in Miami. Okay, so yeah. now you're, you're celebrating your heritage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's One like, Night in Miami? This, I think it's like Muhammad Ali and Malcolm X yeah. and Jim Brown. It's the Black Jim Avengers. Jim Brown, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Black Avengers get together and they're like, we got to <laughs> shut down this racism, y'all. <laughs> what the hell did Charles say about pulling up our pants? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're just trying to stop Sir Charles, dude. Jim Brown and, was a man. Also, I think supported Trump. Yes. Oh, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sick. I love to see it. I did not. True. Me? Not me. I could never. Do you hear this, AOC? Not me. Sure, I'm telling you, man. They're they're like they're rounding them up. 
something has to give. There has to be a, a symbolic show of force against anyone who would dare storm the Capitol, dude. I got one more for you after this. Yeah. Now, I, you got me fired up when I was asking you about <laughs> that book that'll definitely get this Ooh. show flagged. <laughs> yeah, I guarantee you're not allowed to say that word. Really? Yeah. The book? Yeah, probably. All right. So you're in the theater. You're celebrating yes. black history. <laughs> yeah. You're come dizzy. <laughs> Which, to be fair, is the best now, way to celebrate Now here's going to be my favorite history. part. What sweet treats did you get at the movie theater? <laughs> they didn't have any. They didn't no have treats. Any. No, 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 no treats. Did they you tell them you haven't came in seven days? <laughs> no. I need some Twizzler nibs right now. <laughs> I wonder if one of them saw you walking around and thought it was like Five Nights at Freddy's <laughs> where like an animatronic bear started walking around. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So you get your snackless and horny. Yeah. And no I'm, snacks. No. And high. And yeah, for oh, sure. Oh, obviously yeah. doped up. Yeah. It's dangerous. <laughs> yeah. And, we, and no, no drinks. They didn't have drinks in there. No you brought drinks. your own. No, I had a water. I had a water. I had a water. I had it in my thing. Right. I always keep try to stay strapped with water. Shame on you for not bringing your own snacks to the movie theater. That's yeah. 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 Can't believe. But I thought did. I'd be able to go in and buy some if it's open. What snacks would you have gotten? Money bags. I would have got a popcorn, and uh, some gummy worms. Okay. okay. <laughs> Solid, a little sweet and salty. Good door. order. <laughs> but, cum filled no gummy worms no, yeah, no popcorn. <sighs> celebrating black excellence yeah so I walk into the theater and there's this couple it's just me and this couple they're sitting up front and then they just like walk they get up and walk behind me and I'm like oh they're gonna go fuck you so, thought that to yourself yeah cause I kind of willed it <laughs> like I was I, gonna, thinking you did yeah, yeah. I was just yeah Maybe that cum in you charged everybody. Up. <laughs> yeah. The endorphins you released. You might have had a cum hallucination. <laughs> like a you may have seen porn. It's like just a delirium the, yeah. tremens for for cum instead of alcohol. Yeah, that's your pink elephant. Isn't that what it is? A pink oh, elephant. No. <laughs> so wait, like, what, like, were they like audibly having like, sex? So a couple. You? So you're filled to the brim with jizz, and <laughs> yeah. this couple sneaks behind, behind you. Me. And I'm trying to watch black people talk on the screen, so I just hear, and I hear just like, <sighs> really, just like in the background, yeah, yeah, and they're just like gawks and. Was slurps. it a white couple or black? She was couple? giving him head. What do you? I think they're black. Yeah. Yeah. I'm no offense. No, it was a white lady. It was a white lady. Oh, dude, Whoa, that's this guy got his dick bit. sucked to Malcolm X by a white lady. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Damn, dude. So you're, you're just surrounded by black excellence at this point. That's the most yeah. black excellence. Oh, dude. I thought they closed the AMC on Columbus Ave. It was... Uh, it was <laughs> they, they did it? It was the Rivers 5. Okay. Uh, Ritz, yeah, 5, whatever. Yeah. Where's that at? Uh, one Oat City. Damn, Miami. so a guy got his dick sucked by a white lady <laughs> yeah. during one night yeah. in Miami? And now... All right, last one. I'm sorry. <laughs> How hard were you? True. Dude. Dude. <laughs> It was, I couldn't focus on the movie. I literally. I well, couldn't focus that's on the movie. very understandable. If someone's getting their dick sucked <laughs> like, like, directly behind me, I'm like, kind of. Yeah, I mean, you're not talking. It wasn't Avatar, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> I would have called the usher and be like, dude, I'm sorry. You would you'd you'd have moves. to, or just move. You'd have to move. No down. way, dude. You got to stand no your ground on that. If someone starts getting their dick sucked right behind you? I, there's no way I'm moving. How long were they fucking? <laughs> the whole movie. <laughs> Damn, two dude. Hours. Two hours. Really? Did they, they knew you weren't gonna snitch. <laughs> I was. I wasn't gonna snitch. I'm not a snitch. I did yeah. go. I did look back a bunch. Go like, hey, you guys so you're pervert. Sex. I, <laughs> yeah, I am a pervert. Pervert. No, I, I would have definitely, dude. I would have moved behind them and like. I, true. What? Yeah. I wanted them to ask me to join. That's like, hey, obviously. <laughs> I mean, she should have. It's kind of yeah. fucked up. She didn't. It's like you guys are in the. Did you clap at the end thing. of the movie? <laughs> <laughs> Stand up and yeah. clap for them. Yeah, they stopped. Oh, at the end of the movie, Sam Cook started singing "A Change Will Come," and they stopped fucking. It was real good. Out of respect. <laughs> wow. Like, out of respect about how good that part is. Yeah. So there was. I was born. He's like, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. No. This guy get get off me, bitch. <laughs> like, Hold on, baby. Watch this. It's beautiful. <laughs> Hold on, baby. In One a second. little tent. <laughs> he just started crying. He's like. Get off me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and it, so that was obviously the end of the NoFap. I know exactly yeah. where that Dude. led. Yes. Dude. I, I've, I've witnessed Matt fall from the exact same. Same fucking thing, dude. Oh, Lamar, man, that was how nice Lamar. was that? Oh. Me, me and Matt were at a friend of mine's house. <laughs> yeah. And a nice young college girl 
we only hang out with the youngest, most supple boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> so we were young too. This was probably like four Just years, couple ago. years ago. Yeah. So I was not even in my thirties. But <laughs> you're allowed to fuck college kids if you're in your twenties. <laughs> uh, and we didn't fuck out. But your thirtieth birthday, they tear up your college ID. Yeah, you know, no fucking college. sweet college what? babies. Can I you? text them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can text them, but they're gonna tell on you eventually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they will fuck it. But yeah. Matt's uh we were sitting there and this this couple got up and went and just fucked in this room right behind but you could hear her and well, we, we had just we been got sitting to, with yeah, her all exactly. night we're hanging out you know and it's like oh she's great I'd love to fuck her and then you just hear her getting fucked in the next room yeah dude and, and Matt was on no fap I was on like a seven day no fap and I I'm like sitting there I think like people were playing cards or something yeah we were playing we're cards and all of a sudden I, I like I'm sitting here just being like if my memory serves me correctly <laughs> she had some fucking uh, big naturals. She did have she had some heavy naturals. Big naturals. And I'm on a seven-day no-fap, and I'm sitting here just like, she's all nice. You know those that. naturals are getting knocked around just in a room right behind you. Yeah, I can picture them clearly. Like, I'm thinking they're like one of those, like, down and out kind of setups. So I'm like, oh, man. So, I, like, they start they start doing their thing, and I'm sitting there like, I'm like, hey, I'm out of here. I had to go. You got go. more uh, yinglings? <laughs> Dude, I was just like, all right, well, I'm going to get out of here. I, I listened to like about a half an hour, 45 minutes of it, and I was like salivating. Went home and just unleashed a seven day, no porn, no anything. Just thought about, remembered the noises and was just like, seven, just a no fat all over my little fucking sofa bed, dude. Damn. Dude. You guys got problems. I couldn't do what the fuck that was crazy no I'm not even mad after what I confessed to you guys before this I, I would never condemn you on this what'd you confess no, no, it was a confession off air man true 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 jeez true. Louise dude <laughs> is nothing sacred true true but dude the uh yeah man I so I feel your pain although I, I do think removing porn from the life from your life is a good move yeah, it doesn't have to be, but it's it's. I'll like tell you a, what, I've I've kind of well again, uh, not after what I just told you, but mm-hmm. I've come around kind of naturally to not caring about it. Like it's like yeah. I don't know, it's kind of the, the exact same thing every single time. Yeah, it is, and I don't, I can't get weirder. Yeah, that's what's nice. Like I can't, like if I watched uh, T porn at all, yeah. not for me. Yeah, none of that's for me. No, yeah, it is. Every kinda, once in a while, I can get it, like a real dark, I think weird one. Porn, T porn is the sign of when you're getting like void it out when you you just need you're like trying to get deeper yeah. and deeper into it and then it's like dude i i like stop watching <laughs> that just, shit you keep digging until you get i stop j- watching just that gay. shit dude. and as soon as <laughs> dude it, it, well, yeah, yeah. For real. what was funny is like you get that t-porn something that can snag you and dude i think there's a lot more soldiers out there who are just like not talking about their for t-porn sure anytime it, when you and me talked about it on the but when you yeah. confessed to it i yeah. first off i had never even imagined it yeah dude i couldn't believe it but as soon as i i remember i condemned you yeah I said, shame upon this. I, mean, I think and everybody we knew came out and was like, I don't, I don't fucking, come on, man. What the fuck's wrong with you? Where, are you gay? And I was like, funny. What? It's funny. <laughs> well, it's funny because it really should not be a big deal. It really shouldn't. If we're like, you know, everyone's moving forward. We're doing all new stuff. We, you know, it's not a huge deal. I'll say this is the thing, though. I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> it should be something that I just moved past. However, as soon as I kind of like got my ducks in a row, it just lost all of its allure. Dude, I'm telling you, it was the phallic mother. I think I was bowing before the phallic mother, and as soon as I fucking integrated myself fully, well, not fully, obviously, like three quarters of the way, I'd sure. say. Yeah, I've, like, pulled it up and just been like, ugh. Yeah. The same thing. Dude, well, that's was, how it always should have been. It should have always been like, oh, fuck. That's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah. But if you're out, if you're in, if you're in the existential vacuum, dude, if you're adrift... The fucking sirens, dude. The dong sirens start calling. <laughs> <laughs> the ladies Come here. with dongs. Pull your ship over here. <laughs> You're all right. There's nothing wrong with it. You're exactly right. No, I'm telling you, I, I think it should be, uh, you know, I think we have bigger fish to fry as a species <laughs> right sure. now. But I will say it's one of those things that I think if, if like, if you're watching it being like, why am I watching this? It's like, you should probably start, like, Definitely. examining some things. Yeah, I think if you were doing it and feeling guilty, I don't know. If I watched porn and Definitely. felt guilty after or, like, yeah. something, then I'd be like, all right, this is bad. Because I'm usually very easy to feel guilty about. Mm-hmm. Almost anything. <laughs> I do like if you watch it, you're done. You're just like, ah. <laughs> Dude, 100%. Like, there's nothing to it to me. Yeah, that's I don't good. know. I put no stock in it at all. That's good. If I don't do it, I just forgot. Yeah. That's all. It's on yeah. my to-do list. It's just like it's something like, you oh, yeah, I should jerk to. off. Yeah. I forgot to, oh, did I jerk off? No, there is something to be said nice. for, like, maintenance jerks. Like, you do got to get it, you know, you can't be running yeah. on, on too hot all the time. But I will say in a relationship, you can get to the point where you start to get kind of, like, 
do vengeance porn. Not like like vengeance porn, vengeance porn, but like you get in an argument and you're like, I'll just fucking jerk off, fuck you. And then you, you know, you can start to get not I'm not talking about like getting into like come here bitch porn, but like <laughs> I've never had any yeah, snuff yeah. porn. I'm just talking about being like, fuck you then. Just be like, I'm just gonna fap. And then you just like fap for like three days straight. And yeah, then, true. And Bay wants to have sex and you're just like a you can't. You just you yeah, fapped yeah. yourself into an empty beat. All right. Yeah, that's fair. That's, I've run into that problem. That it is sucks. certainly an it issue. Sucks, dude. Lemare, sorry I stretched that story out so much. <laughs> that should have been one second of you just being like, "Yeah, this couple fucked at a movie behind." Me. <laughs> but I, I'm glad we got to the bottom of you jerking off for like several hours a day, dude. I'm telling you, man. It's and it's all... good you came clean and admitted it to thousands of people. Well, I feel free now. I'm, that's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> You gotta let it. No, dude. I used to do that all the time. No, I know, I know. And I know. dude, I'm so really. many fucking people do. It's cool when girls do it. <laughs> not even. It actually is not. But to me, dude, as a father, to me, nah. disgusting. <laughs> to me, when I hear about, I'm like, the fuck. You if doing? I hear about a girl masturbating, I mean, if they're gonna for a quick one off, if a girl's like, I'm laying in my room masturbating all day, I'd flip the bed. I just get the fuck. Come flip get the out mattress out. One hundred percent. I told you what I want to go on back on Tinder on Slut Patrol. Go on Tinder as a married man and just critique women. Like, what are you doing? What the hell is this? Do you know what that would lead to? What? <laughs> you think you're going to be able to, You can barely withstand the dong sirens, dude. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen if you got on Tinder? You're like, yo, I'm just doing this. This is a little project I'm working on to help women. <laughs> Actually, you're actually very beautiful. <laughs> or just be a match. The reason I was being so hard on you is because you're so sweet and beautiful. <laughs> she matched with me? Oh. <laughs> you like Avatar Last Airbender too? We just met to get dinner to talk. <laughs> I'm trying to help her out. <laughs> Dude, I would fall in love so quick with that. As soon as someone's like, you're right, I'd be like, I am? Like, yeah. What else do you want to know Do you want to just hang out and talk? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, we gotta we gotta switch Slide over page, to the Patreon. Oh man! Um, if you get a chance and you live near San Antonio, <laughs> Texas, the twenty eighth, 29th, thirtieth, and thirty first, I'll be down there. That's a Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and Sunday show. So some of those will probably be pretty light. Please Ooh. come. Uh, the fifth and sixth, fourth, fifth, and sixth of February, I'll be at Raleigh at Good Nights in Raleigh, North Carolina. And then I believe the 19th and 20th of February, I'll be at the Arlington Draft House in Washington, D.C. A little, it's a nice little stretch. A little, little fun stretch there. Hell yeah. Um, thank you guys for listening. Matt, do you have anything you want to plug here? Dude, just my, uh, just like Null. I got, I got the logo therapy vids working. I got, I'm, I'm, I'm doing them now, like kind of like documentary style. I throw like stock footage and shit. It's pretty fun. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so I'm getting yeah. into making internet stuff. That, I, I did one, out. but I'll have it done soon. And that's I'm, like I'm helping, all, helping the bros. It's helping the bros. Between that and Romas, Romas is getting the bros fucking on the straight Lamar, and narrow. get on that. Psych Null is getting the mindset. Get right. on the Psych Null and stop your, stop masturbating so much, would you? <laughs> yeah, dude. No, tell them to knock that. That's weird, right? He didn't agree that it was weird. No one masturbates for hours. You know, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, if you got that thick fucking root. If I had a root like Noah's, I mean, you gotta grip it every now and again. that thing around. Yeah. Not every day, multiple hours. Sometimes, you know, you just gotta you gotta pull I it know. out for Let's, a little we're bit. We're trying to end the episode, dude. Don't okay. be a hog. <laughs> <laughs> don't try to steal the mayor's thunder. Yeah, you might have a thick root, dude. You don't have to be a thick yeah. root, dude. Yeah, exactly. Hogging out on the end of it. Sorry. Uh, I'm just kidding, though. <laughs> Thank you, you, guys. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. <laughs>